Hello, welcome to Engineers Mindset. So in today's class, um, we are going to be talking about Galilean transformation equation, also known as the Galilean invariance. Now, the Galilean invariance is actually used to measure the coordinates or position of one reference frame with respect to another reference frame in which an event is taking place. So usually we have two reference frames. First is the reference frame of the observer, and the next reference frame is simply the reference frame where an event is taking place. So we usually be asked to find the coordinates or the positions from the observer to an event taking place in the world, um, to an event taking place in the next reference frame. Okay, so when we talk about reference frame, we're simply talking about our three-dimensional coordinates and a time. Now, each reference frame in the Galilean transformation equation usually have four coordinates. The three coordinates in space and then a time attached to it. So you simply have X, Y, Z, and T. Okay, that defines a four-dimensional coordinate system for each Galilean transformation reference, reference frame. Okay, so um, let's say we have uh, the first reference frame. Okay, so this is simply um, call this Y, call this X, and call this Z. So X simply means the distance or displacement in the X direction. Y simply means distance in the Y axis and then Z, distance in the Z direction. So the always, we have always two reference frames. So let's also get the second reference frame now. Okay, so we have simply this and this. Okay, and this, so simply call this Z prime, call this um, Y prime, and call this X prime. Okay, so um, the displacement here is Y. Y here is simply what? Y prime. Same thing here, X, and here is X prime. So we have two um, reference frames. The first reference frame always re represents the reference frame of, of the observer. Okay. So the first reference frame always represents the reference frame of the observer why the second reference frame is the reference frame where an event is taking place so let's say we have um maybe a vehicle or something okay let's say we have something like this all right so we have a vehicle traveling okay in the x direction in this reference frame and then we have an observer in the first reference frame now we want to spot what is the distance or what are the coordinates of this event taking place in this reference frame as can be seen by this observer in the first reference frame okay the coordinates of the observer in the first reference frame is simply four dimensional so we simply have um, x y z and t this represents the coordinates of the observer in the first reference frame x y z are simply what the coordinates in space that's three dimensional then attached with the time which this observer spots this event that is taking place in the next reference frame and then of course when we have been able to transpose this um coordinate to that of events taking place in the second reference frame we can simply call this other reference frame to have um, this event to have this coordinate x prime y prime um z prime and z prime okay so that's so if we're able to transform the position of um, the observer from the first reference frame um, to observe the event taking place in the second reference frame, we are simply going to have those coordinates. Now, distance traveled by the observer, this is the origin O, so everything at this point, point is zero. Time is zero, Y is zero, Z is zero, all at the point at this point, or simply call here O, that's the origin. Everything at that point is zero. Distance taken by the observer to spot this event taking place here is simply travel, it's simply distance traveled in the x axis. So if I, let's say I draw a line here, okay, let's say I put down a line here and then I measure distance it takes um, this observer from, this is the origin now, distance it takes the observer to spot the event taking place here is simply in the x axis as can be seen here. So this is simply called x. That's the displacement of the observer with respect to the event taking place. Okay, now the displacement of, okay, let's now trace an imaginary line down here to denote the origin of the ref second reference frame where the event is taking place. The distance from the second reference frame to this event taking place, we already call that simply what X prime. 
so that's simply called x prime now if from here to this point is simply x that's from the origin of the observer to the point where the event is taking place it is later and called x and then from the origin of the frame of where the event is taking place to the event itself is x prime then what now is a distance from uh, the origin of the observer to the origin of the place where the event is taking place or to the origin of the frame of reference where the event is taking place is simple this event or this car or this vehicle is moving with a certain speed at a given time so that velocity is simply given as v and the time which that motion takes place will also be given as t so let's say the velocity with which this object is moving is simply v and the time is given as t okay time which is um, vehicle is moving is given as t we all know that velocity is actually displacement all over time so which means we can find um, this displacement x to be equal to velocity times time so the distance of this event taking place in the second reference frame from the first reference frame is simply given as what the product of velocity times time which is the velocity of the moving vehicle and the time to which this vehicle is moving so as can be seen on the board if the distance from the observer to the event is x and then again the distance from the observer from the origin of the reference frame of the observer to the origin of the reference frame of um, the where the event is taking place is given as vt meanwhile from the origin to the event is given as x prime then it simply means that total distance from the observer which is at this origin okay to the event which is simply x total distance or displacement of observer okay we call that x is simply equal to the sum of this velocity times time which is this distance v times t so we simply have vt plus the distance from the reference frame or the origin of the reference frame to the event taking place which is simply x prime so we simply have plus x prime so if we have this we can now find the coordinates or the displacement of that event taking place in second reference frame make by making x prime subject so we're simply going to have that x prime is equal to x minus vt so this becomes the distance or the coordinate of um, the coordinate of the motion of that vehicle as measured from the observer okay as measured from the observer so we simply call i told you we simply call its coordinates as simply x prime y prime z prime and t prime meanwhile the coordinate of the first observer or the observer is simply x y and z and t okay so if you're able to transpose this it turns to x prime y prime z prime and t prime which is the coordinate of the event taking place in the second <coughs> in the second frame of reference now the reason why we are simply using x is simply because motion is purely horizontal the motion of every vehicle is purely horizontal and in most cases and questions we are going to be encountering in guidance transmission is going to definitely be what purely horizontal so which means we are only transposing x so since motion is not taking place in the y axis it's not also taking place in the z axis then it simply means that y prime is also equal to y also z prime is equal to z and t prime is equal to t since motion is not taking place in the y axis and it's also not taking place in the z axis then their values remain the same in the second frame of reference so we simply have this these four equations represent the coordinate of an event taking place in the second reference frame due to an observer in the first reference frame which spots that event so we simply have this so x prime always is simply what x minus vt so we can we can actually transpose um, this equation now which stands for the position of the event taking place in the second reference frame we can simply transpose this to simply be instead of x prime we we'll simply call that x minus vt comma y prime comma z prime comma and z prime so once again i said since motion is not in the y axis therefore y prime remains the same thing as y so the distance here if there's a distance given to us from the origin in the y direction is still the same distance given from the origin of the second reference frame in the y direction same thing if it's in z 
they see the same thing as the um, distance measure from the origin of the second reference frame in the z direction because motion is purely what horizontal so y prime remains y z prime remains z and then z prime remains t okay so um having this in mind let us attempt a very simple problem all right so to follow up that explanation let's consider that we are giving this problem on the board um the question says a vehicle traveling at 50 meters moved past a stationed officer with a velocity of 20 meters per second the officer observed a baby playing in the vehicle 10 minutes later what are the coordinates of the baby as measured by the officer so it's still the same thing like i said we always have two reference frame first is the reference frame of the, of, of the observer and second is the reference frame where an event is taking place now we have first of all that a vehicle traveling at 50 meters past a station officer with a velocity of 20 meters per second the officer observed so which means the first reference frame always tells you the reference frame of the observer so if we are going to have this first reference frame it means this reference frame tells us the reference frame of the officer which is the observer so here simply remains y here remains x and here remains z so this is the reference frame of the officer which is actually what observing so the officer observed okay now um the second reference frame is the reference frame where the event is taking place so we can simply have this okay so we can simply have this and i said this is now since here is y the transmission chip shows that here becomes y prime which is a change here becomes x prime and here becomes um z prime so we have the first reference frame which is the officer the second reference frame is now what the vehicle itself a vehicle traveling at 50 so this is now the vehicle but inside this vehicle is where an event takes place so the question says that the officer observed a baby playing in the vehicle so this reference frame is a reference frame of the word vehicle so you can simply call this um, vehicle and they will have a baby let's simply use it to represent a baby okay pardon me for that so we have a baby inside the reference second reference frame okay which is a vehicle so this is simply what a baby and the question is asking us to find the coordinate of this event taking place um, as measured by what the first reference frame which is the officer so this is simply what how to signify your questions all right so the first reference frame is always the reference frame of the observer the second reference frame is simply the reference frame where the event is taking place and then you can simply have the event in the second reference frame so as mentioned earlier if i trace this line uh, let's say i trace this from the baby to get the coordinates of the baby as measured from the first reference frame so as always let's make this origin line come down a bit so the distance of the officer as measured by the baby in the second reference frame is simply x so we simply call that x so as can be seen here already it's x from the origin so this is actually x meanwhile distance as measured from the origin of the second reference frame with respect to the event taking place in it is simply called x prime which is from here to this point we simply call that distance what x prime so we simply have here to be x prime now i said that therefore to now obtain the distance measured from the origin of this officer to the origin of the second reference frame we simply have distance from here to this point and um, we call that distance simply the velocity of the moving vehicle times the time which um, that vehicle moves okay so we simply have that to be v t so all we need to do now is to obtain v t and then obtain x which is the displacement of the vehicle from the observer okay that's all we need to do and if we assess the question a vehicle traveling at 50 meter moved past a station officer so the vehicle is actually traveling at 50 meters so that motion is purely horizontal the motion of every vehicle of course is in the x as is always horizontal so it means that uh, distance traveled by the vehicle okay is simply x and that's equal to 50 meters so it means this total distance x as measured 
by the observer is simply what 50 meters because this baby is actually inside the vehicle okay as can be seen this is the vehicle so the baby is actually inside the vehicle the observer or the officer now observed so the distance traveled by the vehicle is simply 50 meters so that is the distance to which this officer observed this motion taking place so x is actually 50 meters <coughs> So move past the station officer with a velocity of 20 meters per second. So the velocity of the vehicle V is actually 20 meters per second. Okay. Um, the officer observed a baby playing in the vehicle 10 minutes later. So time is given as C equals 10 um, minutes. Okay. Of course, we we'll, we'll have to convert 10 minutes to seconds, and of course, we know 10 minutes to second become 10 times 60 seconds because it a second because 60 seconds actually makes a minute. Okay, so this simply means 10 by 60. So the time is actually 600 seconds. So the time is given as 600 seconds. Now the question is asking us what are the coordinates of the baby as measured by the officer. So it's very simple. We know the velocity of the car. We know the time which this man spots this vehicle. What we need, we need to do is simply what? Multiply the velocity by what? The time. If we do this, then we we'll now have this equation. Alright, so all we need to do now, first of all, we'll obtain the product of velocity and time. So VT is simply equal to velocity was given as 20. Time was given as 600. Okay, so this is actually um, 12,000. Okay, um, in meters. So that's just simply the distance from the origin of the observer to the origin of the vehicle. So we simply have VT, and that's simply 12,000 given to us in meters. Okay, next is what now recall that this total distance it takes the observer to spot the vehicle, which is X, is simply the sum of VT and x prime so we'll simply add all this together vt plus x and that gives us x so x equals vt plus x prime so which means we can actually make s prime subject and if we make s prime subject this is now the coordinate of the baby inside the vehicle and x prime is simply going to be x minus vt x now being the distance traveled and is given to us as what 50 distance traveled by the vehicle simply 50 so this simply means that x prime or the coordinate of the baby in the vehicle is now 50 minus vt which gave us 12,000. so we have this so this simply implies x prime is actually 11,009 minus 11,950 in meters okay so having known that now since the coordinate of y for the officer is not given coordinate of z for the officer is also not given so it now means that the, the coordinate of the officer which is now the observer is simply x was given as 50 meters so we simply have 50 meters y is not given so you simply call y zero z is also not given so you simply call z zero and finally t was given as as 10 minutes so you can you can choose to see it as 10 minute or you may wish to convert to 600 seconds still the same thing so this is the coordinate of the observer now this coordinate transposed into so the coordinate of the observer um, is simply 50 0 0 and then the time which is 10 minutes okay you can simply call that 600 seconds this transposed into so you simply use an arrow here to indicate that the coordinate of the vehicle now we have x prime and x prime is simply minus 11950. So I said since y and z is not given and motion is not in the y and z axis, it means the value of y and z for the observer remains the same for the um, event. So we simply have 0, 0. Also, the time remains the same as the time of the event, which is 600 seconds. So also we have 600 seconds. So we have this. So this becomes the coordinate of the baby as measured from the observer okay as measured from the observer this is the coordinates of the baby all right guys so i will see you in the next question with more wonderful questions and tedious questions on um, galilean transformation equation 
okay so this question is as simple as it can be okay so in the next video i will do a more complex problem as compared to this all right guys so please if you find the video very interesting please um don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and of course do hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel to keep getting updates when content such as this keeps dropping i will see you in the next video thanks and cheers